to become a job ready automation tester i have already told you how it can be done in 4 months right but still if you want to become a 360 automation tester right what exactly is 360 automation tester right these are some extra skills that i think every automation tester if you are already learning the automation right if you add those skills right i think those will be helpful for you to get get a job where you can get like 50 lpa you can get a stable job good work recognition and retired early and you can target a good product based company also so if you want to become that right 360 automation tester right what are the things that you should add what i am going to discuss about all my skill set which i have basically learned throughout this years right see oh, first of all disclaimer these are the skills that probably you will not learn in one go you will learn through the experience and throughout the year so with my almost like 10 12 years experience right i'm just laying down all the important terminologies tool set which generally you can basically use all right so let's get started and let's see with which all the things which tools libraries that you can keep on adding to enhance enhance your skills to get a better salary as compared to other automation tester who are getting i think really low salary but you can definitely become a rock star automation engineer after this okay so let's get started so let me start with the skills that you can add to your resume okay so of course version control wise all of you please start adding git right if you already know right if you know git then it's a good thing if you don't know i would highly recommend a 2 hour of free training that you can do if you go to sd.life/git free training is available 2 hour you will become a master of git and you will definitely get a certification also learn about github gitlab and bitbucket which are many many times used i have seen throughout my throughout my 12 years experience right almost i have seen bitbucket is gitlab Git, github right you can use anything that which is there build automation tools like maven gradle right and npm which is very very common that you will be using it anyhow maven gradle and npm is are the most popular one you will find it lot of time that you have to learn all those skills okay dependency management of course uh, you will generally use maven or gradle npm and pip if you are using python because i have worked with python also those things code analysis tool this is the most important thing you will never learn i i think you will find rarely the tutorials around this which are code static code analysis tools but trust me guys you have to learn if you want to become a 360 degree or automation tester you have to add sonar cube check style es lint or pylint pylint and es lint uh, pylint is related to python es lint to to uh, javascript but sonar cube and check style are related to java so you have to add those these skills also into your profile i have seen it and trust me after 4 5 years you have to add those skills ci cd servers i think jenkins is very popular travis ci we have used gitlab ci right now we are using github actions we are using and circle ai also circle ci also we have used so those skills are also important that you can add not all of them it is required to uh, to add them but i'm just giving you all the details which basically are there for testing framework i think test ng n unit mocha jasmine this is where i have worked on more into selenium web driver apm so many times people say that okay promote sir if we have done web automation do we have to learn mobile also yes because in your next company probably they will be hiring for mobile automation engineer right so why why don't why we should lose that job we should get as a mobile automation engineer also, right for example i started my career as a manual tester then i moved to mobile tester then i moved to web automation then i moved to a couple of in javascript then python right so it it is mixture of it so you can learn multiple te- te- technologies terminologies skills in throughout your career so you can add it selenium uh, apm test ng cucumber j we have apm test complete robot framework you can add for parallel execution test ng selenium great docker that you can use please add docker it is very very important that you should do it add it into your uh, skills a free tutorials related to docker is available in the testing academy i'll share a link in the description test management tool of course faker js test data management tools that you can use continuous jenkins files github gitlab ci you can use artifact nexus nowadays we are very much using nexus for our what we call artifacts artifacts are nothing nothing but a code a common utilities we have pushed into our nexus where we can fetch everything uh, common utilities as a jar rather than importing and recompiling right it as a jar we are importing it directly into the nexus configuration management ansible puppet virtualization docker or vagrant 
Kubernetes, these are the technologies you probably will be using after four or five years where you have to scale and run like 10,000 test cases, 15,000 test cases daily, right? Those things you will be start using it that we have seen, okay? Apart from this notifications, uh, Slack, more Microsoft Teams, email notification, definitely you can use security scanning, OWASP and SonarCube that you already should be knowing it. Uh, Jira, Confluence and Trello, all of you should know cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, Google platform that you have used many times. I have used it also documentation, uh, Confluence and Wiki that you can use, right? So this is overall uh, will make you definitely a 360 degree automation, right? Many people ask me, okay, what should we learn next? So you can pick any ter ter terminology or tech tech stack from this and you can start upgrading yourself after but this is generally recommend after the roadmap that you have completed your base should, should be clear for four months you should be targeting for software testing programming language api testing web automation and ci cd after that you get some some of the extra terminologies that you can basically start targeting this is what will make you more advanced automation 360 degree automation tester and i'm pretty much sure you can target for 50 lpa in inr stable job, good work, recognition, and you will become a SDET, which is software developer in test or a great automation tester in the end after this, right? This is what I believe, right? What other things that you think which are not in the list, we should add, type in the chat and like this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. I hope this video helps. Let me know and uh, I'll see you there. Bye-bye.